Welcome third grade. Hey, I want to introduce you to your next project. Your next project is a really cool one, one of my favorites. It is a stained glass project. So as you can see here, we're actually not going to be working with glass. We're going to make something that looks like stained glass. So it's like colored, but it's transparent so you can see right through it. That's my favorite part. I want to introduce you to this British artist. Her name is Maria Barber, and I love her work because she takes pieces of stained glass and makes them into these really cool birds. I love how they look when the sun shines through them. Most famously, of course, is famous stained glasses. You'll see mostly in churches and in synagogues um, and mosques. Uh, it's beautiful when the light streams in through it. It's absolutely amazing. Here are a couple examples of inspiration that you could pull from. You could do flowers, hearts, a fox, feathers look really amazing, but you are going to make something that looks like colored glass. And I'm so excited to see what you create. When we first start making this project, I'm gonna give you just a regular piece of paper. And your job is to come up with your design on that and draw it the way you want. If you make mistakes on this, don't worry, because nobody will ever actually see the white piece of paper because you're gonna trace over it onto a transparency. But I'll show you that in a minute. I personally actually use a ruler, a straight edge to make sure mine's perfect. I wanted to do something kind of related to BRE, so I did BRE, but remember this year uh, our focus is on keeping BRE weird. So I did the letters, one's kind of at an angle, the R is kind of different looking, and then I did E like it's going fast. Um, and then I created little chunks inside of these. You're gonna wanna make little sections inside but not too small. You can see when I'm drawing here, I actually wrote keep BRE weird, but I ended up not using those because they're too small. You're going to trace around these things with black glue. So you can see that I, I took my drawing and I covered it over with the transparency, the see-through transparency. And then you guys are going to get a bottle of black glue and you're gonna tip it upside down and you're gonna actually have to draw with this black glue. It's not easy to draw with black glue or any glue obviously, drawing with glue is kind of strange, but you just tip it over and you kind of squeeze lightly. You don't wanna to squeeze too hard because it'll leave a big huge puddle of black glue and you don't wanna to squeeze too lightly because then it'll be a too thin of a line. And all you're gonna do is trace over what you drew on your white paper. So as you can see, I drew BRE, and then we're going to let it dry. 2,000 years later. This has to be dry. We have these really cool paints. They're transparent paints. They're designed to paint on glass. And so you're going to use this glass paint to paint into the sections that you created in your drawing. And it's nice because the black glue kind of makes like a little pool and it kind of keeps your paint colors in, which is nice. Um, I did the B with all different kinds of blues. You have about 20 colors to choose from. And when you paint with these colors, they kind of work the exact same way that your painting with glue works. You have to tip it upside down and kind of squeeze it. And you don't want to squeeze too much or too much comes out. And you don't want to squeeze it too little or not enough comes out. And then you just kind of spread it out with the tip of the actual paint itself. You spread it and kind of move it around. You want to make sure that you don't have any empty spots inside of your colors because uh, when it dries, you can actually see through it. It's amazing, but you don't want these holes where there's no color. So I did the R green, two different colors of green. And then you can see that I actually painted the background white you can't really see it on the paper, that's why I scoot it onto the table so you can see it. Sometimes those white backgrounds dry clear and they leave like little pieces of glitter, or they kind of bend so it makes it look like it's leaded glass. Um, and the colors sometimes are different reds or pinks. I think I did some reds for the, um, for the E. And then I fill in the backgrounds with white. So you guys will be able to see after I'm done completely filling in all of those spaces, and it takes a little time and a little practice to learn how to draw with colors and with paint, um, but we will let that dry overnight. You'll see me kind of snap, and it'll be dry.
one eternity later. What we will do is cut off the extra clear part outside. Make sure you work big so that you fill most of the transparency. And then we're going to pop either one or two holes in the top and tie whatever color string you want to the top so that we have something to hang it on. A few inches later. And finally, you can see what it looks like when it's hanging up against a window, how you can see through the colors and it looks like stained glass. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with third grade.